Welcome to Mastering Microsoft Partner Center Portal. My name is Erin Feiger, and I'm a partner just like you who's been using the Microsoft programs and tools for over a decade. Today, I'm going to show you how to list a Contact Me offer in the commercial marketplace. One of the top questions I get asked by partners all the time is how can I better prepare to list my offer in the marketplace? Here's the 10 things you need to know before publishing your offer in the commercial marketplace. One, you need to make sure that you have developer permissions to the publishing account in which you want to publish your Contact Me offering. Second, you want to know the offer ID naming convention because once you create that offer ID, you won't be able to change the name. Third, you want to work with your marketing department to understand where they would like Microsoft to send all the leads that they're collecting on your behalf. You're going to need to get your terms and conditions and privacy link a short description and a long description of your offer. Microsoft will give you the ability to upload up to three documents, so you need at least one document, and typically that's a one pager about the offer. You need at least one image that represents that offer, but you will have the ability to upload up to five images. You'll need two logos formatted specifically to be .png files, at 216 by 216 pixels and one large one at 350 by 350. So I find that most partners will work with their marketing department to get a lot of this information. Once you have all this information, you're now ready to go out to the commercial marketplace and list your offer. So let's go out to Partner Center so I can show you how to do that. Here in Partner Center, I can tell that I have the ability to list an offer in the marketplace because I have the marketplace office, the marketplace offer tile listed here. If your dashboard doesn't look like this when you log into Partner Center, make sure in the upper toolbar here that you turn on workspaces. This is the new Microsoft interface for Partner Center. So I'm ready to go ahead and publish that offer. I'm clicking on Marketplace Offers. And today I'm going to be listing a Contact Me Software as a Service offer. In the offer ID, this is where I said you won't be able to change the offer ID name once you create it. Microsoft requires that your offer ID is all lowercase and you use the underscore for creating spaces. The reason you can't change this offer ID is because it's actually going to go up in the URL address of that offer and get indexed. You, you will, however, be able to change your offer alias name, so you can come back at any time and update the offer alias if you'd like. Once you create the offer, Microsoft's going to ask you if you'd like to sell this offer or just list this offer. Once I select no, I just want to list this offer, you will now see the option to make it a contact me offer. On this page, the other piece of information I must configure is that customer leads. Once I've updated the customer leads section and I've selected that that's contact me, I'm going to scroll to the bottom and hit save draft. You'll notice here in the left navigation that my menu has now changed based on the fact that I've picked a contact me offer. I have less items to complete. Although I can see co-sell with Microsoft and resell through CSP, I don't need to fill these two sections out in order to publish my offer in the marketplace. Today, I'm just going to focus on my properties and my offer listing. When you click on properties, what Microsoft is really asking you is how would you like your offer to be searched and found in the marketplace? You have the ability to click on a category. So I'm going to say that this uh, software as a service contact me offer is related to storage. And specifically, if a customer is looking for a backup and recovery solution, or an enterprise hybrid storage solution, I want to make sure that my offer will show in the search results. You're going to take your legal information and copy and paste it here, and then hit Save Draft. It's important that as you complete each of these sections, you hit Save Draft before moving on to the next section. That way it saves the information that you have just populated in this tab. Now I'm ready to go over to my offer listing and actually build that landing page. I'm going to take all that great information that marketing gave me and I'm going to populate it here. You're going to create your search results summary, your description. You're going to upload that one document, the one pager most likely, but you do have the ability to upload up to three. Here's where you'll put your logos 
and your screenshot. You have up, up to five screenshots that you can populate. Now I'm going to scroll back up here and talk for a moment about the contact information here. This contact information is meant for Microsoft. So if Microsoft needs to reach out to you in regards to this offer, this is the contact information you'll put here. So don't worry, the actual end customers coming to your landing page won't see this information. It's really just for Microsoft. A nice to have but not re not required is that if you actually have a video out on your website about this offer or maybe a customer case study, you can go ahead and upload that video as well. Once you've completed your offer setup, your properties and your offer listing, you're now ready to review and publish your offer. So the core tip of the day is really prepare ahead of time with your marketing department. It will speed up your experience in publishing a contact me offer. I'm Erin Feiger, and thank you for joining me on this journey in Microsoft's Partner Center portal.